Alright guys, we are the Jetpack Superheroes. I'm Paul. This is John. And we're here to react to Metallica's new trailer for their SM2 DVD. I knew I wanted to capture my reaction being a huge Metallica fan on camera. And and I knew that it's about metal and my dad's a metal worker, so that's that's also important to me. <laughs> You've got about so the right criteria. What? Let's get into this and we'll check this out. Hopefully it lives up to my high standards. Hmm. Um, already, I see they're going for the movie theater look. Do they have a rating M for mature? Is that what that M means? <laughs> I believe it's M for Metallica. Perhaps M for mature. Maybe M for manure. I uh, hope not. Okay. Well, it sounded like we were going to Agrabah in the beginning there. It sounded like Aladdin. It does. It has a Middle Eastern flair. Yeah. What's cool is this song is actually from the album Saint Anger, and I don't think that they've played that song very often since oh, that okay. CD came out. Probably best because nobody liked Saint Anger. Yeah, I could be the only one. <laughs> Cue drum joke. Okay, now we're going back. We're going back to the classics. Right. Uh, so the symphony, uh, the San Francisco Symphony Orchestra. That's the same orchestra that they did the first one with. Oh, but, okay. Uh, I hear they're from San Francisco. A good city. A California. good city. <laughs> That's why people watch these things, Paul. They want I, important trivia. <laughs> I like that they went for the Zoom aesthetic. It's almost like I feel like I'm in quarantine still. Yes, right. Good on I love them for the fact social. That they have this um, this beautiful lighting above them. They have an absolutely wonderful stage lighting. And one of the cool things about the is they always have the neatest stuff set up on their stage except this time they just have a symphony there's not enough flames yeah so so do you think that that's a bit of a lacking you know do I you think, think I'm, I'm gonna root them down a little bit there I'm gonna I'm gonna grade them down a little bit lower because there's less flames but I, I understand why yeah because the symphonies constantly got their sheet music and that would be one hell of a fire hazard so they have to be that would be a tough one yeah see I think they blew most of their budget on the symphony Oh, okay. So instead of like some kind of pyros, they just had they're like, listen, we got all these symphony people, three chandeliers above us. I'll Put tell you, I I wish I saw this in theaters. That would be a really awesome sound experience. I would go in person. I'd oh, absolutely. Person if I could have a fantasy about this. <laughs> Look at. I'm not, I'm not gonna aim low in my fantasies. I wish I was on stage, sitting down, watching them right on stage. Did you see that Hawaiian shirt that Kirk Hammett was wearing? You know, he looks good. <laughs> when you're a 50-year-old man that looks like you're 20 but also 70. <laughs> yeah, I don't know how he did it. He managed to find that. He kept all of his hair, but he kept it gray. Oh, my God. It's Martin Short. <laughs> oh, no. What's that character? That Magneto from X-Men. What's that character Martin Short did where he wore a fat suit? <laughs> Jiminy Wait, pause it right here. Pause it right here for a second. May I point out that usually Metallica will have these incredible things, like falling yeah. down statue, which was a, just an iconic piece. Yes. Um, when they had Lady Liberty fall, I mean, uh, Lady Justice fall down, and now we have Harry Potter in a sweater <laughs> that your science teacher would have on a cold day in J maybe January. And yeah. instead of having like a cool sword or anything like on fire, this guy has a Harry Potter wand. Doesn't really project the heavy metal image. I don't feel like this 60-year-old bassist up here has uh, <laughs> a, a cool backwards hat. He's the young one of the band. He's really bopping with the kids. <laughs> and then his grandfather's playing the drums. <laughs> he also has a backwards cap. With a backwards hat on. Yeah. That must be in popular right now. Is this because Tony Hawk Pro Skater is coming out later? I think you're right. I think you're right. Out of that. James Hetfield awesome looks like he's straight off the ranch. As I say that, as he has a gigantic cowboy hat on. <laughs> he was off the ring. Yeah. You know, when you really love Red Dead Redemption 2, you just start living it. You just live I, it right. I don't know how I feel about that distorted uh, violin sound. That's different. I don't love it. Now, I love that. that he does have a wah pedal. Metallica. They're very expensive. The, the cello had a wah pedal. There, yeah, I don't, I don't think it sounds good to a distorted no. pedal. At least Kirk Hammett had a few extra to give them. Yeah. 
How many lap pedals do you think Kurt Hanna has on that stage right now? Too many. And I'll does he have to much. stay? Excuse me, ma'am. Excuse me, sir. Excuse me, ma'am. Excuse me. I'm just trying to get to the lap pedal over there. I just have <laughs> another lap pedal over there. I can get by. Now, that's a song off of the first Symphony of Metallica album. I feel like that's kind of cheating. Yeah, I was going to say, is that cheating? You can't double dip. Do you think they did that to try to save money because they don't have to pay them for any of the um, uh, any of the like the practice time? You know, they save man hours. They're like, look, we're gonna do half the show that we already did. Could be. I doubt that it's the same symphony from twenty years ago, though. I'm gonna say some of the people might have changed, but uh, overall, I feel like I'm pretty satisfied as a Metallica fan. I think and I'm an Aladdin fan. <laughs> as an Aladdin fan as well, I'm definitely gonna purchase the CD. The DVD, the Blu-ray, the sheet music, the MP3. <laughs> Can we bring that screen back up for a moment, please? Yes. I feel like they've taken all of the ways to release music that nobody does it anymore. <laughs> Look at that. <laughs> like, we'll get you a CD. And Lars Ulrich was like, um, I don't have a CD player. I have a vinyl. <laughs> we'll get you like, a vinyl. Right, we'll put them on vinyl, too. <laughs> all right, guys. Thank, right, you, so thank you so for much for watching. And uh, if you like the video, throw us a like. If you want to see more, shout it out in the comments. And if you could, please subscribe.